Hello. So, all the bot YouTubers and everybody hawking PSA garbage is bothering me, as well as a bunch of other low tier, low performance quality items. So we'll get to those eventually. We're going to do this for optics and a few other things. But quite frankly, this one video should do it. Also, a lot of guys ask me, how do you buy these things, especially on the salary that you have and all this other stuff? Do you max out credit cards? Do you use Credova or whatever this shit is? And the answer is, if you just save and plan ahead, then you won't become a slave to debt. And debt is modern slavery. So what I've decided to do is lay out how to get to one of my favorite uppers, my go-to fighting rifle right now is my URGI. So I figured, hey, let's get to a URGI by Black Friday or for those on a much tighter budget by next year. Yes. Now that isn't to say you can't tactically and strategically use a credit card, by the way. There's a lot of credit cards that offer cash back. The problem becomes people don't pay their credit cards off. They keep them in the red and keep running them up. And once they get one thing on there, then they get kind of like a shark in the feeding frenzy when there's blood in the water. They start swiping their card for everything. Or life gets in the way. You know, things happen. But I don't like using credit unless you can be tactical with it, pay it off, get the cash back. And there's plenty of people that will use a credit card, pay it off immediately, get the cash back, and then buy something else that they need. So there is a way to do that tactically. However, don't say, <laughs> hey, he told me to do this, and then do the opposite of what I said, which is not use it tactically, run it into the red, and crash yourself and become a modern slave to debt. We're not doing that. Now, why a Geisley URGI? Well, I've shot it extensively, and out of all the rifles that I have that I was personally able to use outside of the military, I've fired the most samples of URGIs. My friends have bought URGIs after shooting mine. We had a range day where all of us went out and shot our URGIs. There were six out there. And I've put a few together myself for my buddies. My buddies have put rifles together for others, and... We've all had similar experiences with our URGIs. They've all been very excellent. Also, Nine Hole Reviews just dropped a video on all of the Geisley rifles they bought. We got this first URGI. You got this first URGI. So this is the ground zero that started bankrupting Josh. And we got, um, well, we got a few more URGIs and a few more Geisley uppers and Geisley guns. You, you got... A few more URGI uppers. Josh from Nine Hole Reviews went through a very similar process that I did where already used Geisley triggers and accessories, then bought a URGI, realized how well it performed, and then bought a bunch of Super Duties, which is exactly where I'm at. So that's a great video. It's in the comments. You can watch it. Henry's coming around. But Josh and I are definitely on the same wavelength as far as the performance of the Geisley rifles. And with mine, I've personally put well over 4,500 rounds through it. I think I'm at 5,300 at this point. I got to check my little log. And it fires a multitude of rounds well. It's ma well maintained. I shoot it suppressed all of the time. And it just keeps on kicking. Whether I'm hard on it or just do some longer range precision work, much lighter firing schedule. It still keeps kicking, shooting well, and has had a bunch of configurations, quite frankly. And I'm very happy with how it's performed. And yes, there's cheaper stuff out there. There's less expensive or more expensive stuff out there. You can take this model, simply divide by as many months by the price, and you'll get the same results, plus or minus, bigger, smaller numbers for those things. No shit. But my focus in this video is getting you a URGI upper so you too can enjoy the excellence that is the URGI. Now their current price is $1450. They used to be $1250, but a lot of stuff has happened with supply chain and inflation, and we're suffering the greatest economy ever. <laughs> so with all the inflation, supply shortages, all that stuff, and they're making them in-house, it's gone up to $1450. 
1450 from 1250. We're going to use the 1450 number. Now, the reason we're using that is because it'll give you some extra padding. If life happens or if there's other things along the way that you've been waiting for, like cases of Black Hills ammunition or other things that pop up that are a must-have. So, we are going to start with the 12-month model for $1,450. So, it's Black Friday. You saw all the beautiful deals and you don't have the money, but damn it, you're going to do it next year. Start immediately saving $120.83 each month. So once a month, one twenty eighty three into your savings account. Let's call it one twenty one, and you can truck along for one hundred twenty one dollars for twelve months, and get yourself a URGI. Yes. But what about a ten month model? Because ten months is a thing, and I want to get it by Black Friday. So if you started last month or you have some money in savings or you manage not to blow your entire tax return, if you save $145 a month for 10 months, that'll get you to $1,450. But what about eight months, you might say? I have some expenses I can't start saving until about eight months out. Well, $181.25 will get you there by Black Friday if you're on an eight-month timetable. If you decide you want to wait six months then you're at $241.67, $241.67. Call it $242 a month for six months, and that'll get you a URGI by Black Friday. Yes! Sometimes putting hard numbers on paper and being disciplined and sitting down, really going over what you have to spend, some guys can look at these numbers and say, hey, I can stop eating out every night, cut it down to the weekends, do some meal prep, save this money, and get there. Other guys will say, oh, I already have this disposable income, and they every time they get it, they buy something that's $300 or $400. Instead, they could start siphoning money off with their timetable and get a quality piece of equipment. A lot of times, guys don't actually look at what they can afford. They look at what they can afford right now. So they'll say, Man, I have to get this PSA because I only have $400 and it's burning a hole in my pocket. Well, if you just put that $400 away a couple times, you're already at a URGI. A lot of times in comments and in other videos, I've said being poor is a mentality. When I was a younger sailor, I, I had that mentality. I was just buying stuff to buy it or you know, not saving to get the nicer thing. And I quickly learned when it came to firearms that I wanted to buy quality stuff and I had to figure out how to get there because I didn't just have all this money sitting around. True to form, when I was a young guy, I joined the Navy and bought a Mustang GT <laughs> in 2006. And then I traded it in and got a bullet because that's what I really wanted. So I was very impulsive there, but for some reason with firearms, I wasn't as impulsive. And I was much more measured probably because I had to be because I was paying a car note for <laughs> brand new car twice. So being disciplined, setting a goal and getting to that goal is extremely rewarding and you can get quality gear by just saving a little here and there to get you where you want to go. You don't have to settle for cheap items or just, well, if I, if I get this now, then I can just have something short term and then I can save and then you never save. You buy 28 hollow sun optics that burn out, you throw out and just get the new one and continue to do that in perpetuity. Or you just buy a bunch of PSAs and you buy a bunch of low tier stuff and you say it's just as good when all along you could have saved that money or been more disciplined and purchased the stuff you actually wanted to begin with. You just had to wait a little longer. And there's no shame in waiting a little longer. A lot of guys will have more respect for you if you work hard you save and you're disciplined and you get to where you want to go in the end and you say, hey, I really wanted this. I worked hard for it and I got it and it's a good piece of gear or it's a it's a good weapon or it's a good, you know, optic, so on and so forth. You can do it. It's just about finding out what your budget is 
saving money, make sure you pay yourself first too. You want to pay yourself first and then have your discretionary income. So make sure those are separate. Don't starve yourself trying to get something. So just be disciplined, focus on what you want. And if it changes along the way, it changes along the way. It happens. But at least you'll have that money sitting there and then you can shift and move as you need to versus just being impulsive and buying, you know, five, $400 PSA uppers. You know, you get there anyway. There were guys that were making fun of HKs back in the day, but they were buying a Glock and they're like, my Glock's so much cheaper than they spend $1,400 on it. <laughs> so it happens, man. But, or buying a bunch of red anodized parts. So at the end of the day, if you just take some time, map things out, use a little bit of math, which I understand is difficult, especially for me. I'm not that smart, <laughs> but it's really not that hard to do so long as you can stick to it. It's kind of like going to the gym. You know, one of the most beneficial things you can get is a gym membership and discipline in some water and go to the gym. You'll get to where you want to go faster. And you can use this method for anything. And I know it's very basic, but sometimes people can't see the forest for the trees. You know, it's always impulsive and I got to have it now. And, oh, look, there's three guys on YouTube doing a video on the same thing because PSA bought them out. So I got to have it. You know, it's getting thrown in front of you constantly, whereas you'd be better served with a nicer piece of equipment, you know, a nicer rifle, a nicer pistol, better holsters, things like that. And it's better just to buy once, cry once. So that's my mentality. Just want to do a quick video, throw it together. Nothing serious, but I see a lot of guys frequently in the comments just going for the cheap fix instead of getting something nice, and then they regret it later. They got a safe full of garbage, and they wanted to have the nice thing the whole time. You, you take them out, let them shoot your stuff, and they finally understand why it's good, why you get the quality thing in the first place. Then they look at the stuff they have, and they're like, man, if I had just done stuff different today's the day. Do something different today. As always, thank you for watching my barely coherent ramblings and take care out there.